So the holiday period is upon us once again, and today I'm going to be covering off a bit of a DJ gift guide, so to give you some ideas as to what to buy the DJ in your life. Now, first and foremost, I'm not going to be covering off buying different controllers or CDJs or a mixer, because I think it's a bit of an obvious gift, especially if it is a new DJ and they need something to DJ off of, the first thing that you would do is go and buy a controller. But also as well, it can get pretty expensive because that is kind of the main piece of equipment that a DJ would need. So what I'm gonna do today is give you some alternative ideas, some things that you may not have thought of that you could buy a DJ, and of course give you some more budget-friendly options as well well so let's get straight into it first gift then on my list is usb sticks so so useful for any dj that is out there i use them to store music i use them to play music off if i'm using cdjs in a venue from time to time i use it to store invoices other dj related documents such as contracts that kind of thing I can never have enough USB sticks, and the great thing is, is they are a super affordable DJ accessory. In terms of sizes, aim for kind of 64 to 256 gigabytes in terms of storage size, depending on your budget. And in terms of brand, look at SanDisk ones, they always seem pretty reliable to me. And in terms of where to buy, you can just get these from Amazon. Gift number two then is cables or leads. DJs need loads and loads of cables, whether it be a USB cable to connect the controller through to the laptop, that's really going to be quite useful. It could be RCA cables, so if they use vinyl turntables or CDJs, they're going to need those red and white cables that connect the decks to the mixer. Again, very, very useful and also a necessity. And spares are always welcome because cables go missing, cables get broken, and generally speaking, you can never have enough cables. Other cables that you might want to consider are XLR cables. So these are used to connect the controller or DEX or mixer to the sound system as well as for connecting a microphone. So cables are absolutely critical for all DJs. And if you use a brand like UDG, you can get some pretty cool colors as well and they don't break the bank. Gift number three then, following on from that cable theme are headphone spares. Especially if the DJ that you are buying for uses Sennheiser HD25s or the Pioneer DJ Q1 headphones. You can get spare leads, you can get spare ear cups, all of the parts are user replaceable, which is really, really quite useful. And there has been so many times where I wish I had a spare lead for my Sennheisers or replacement ear cups or something like that. And the really cool thing is if they're using the Q1 headphones, you can get some really quite cool colors as well. So it's a bit of a fun gift if you want to go down that route. Idea number four then is a deck saver. Now this literally does what it says on the tin. It's basically like a dust cover. There's not a lot to it. It basically is a mold of the particular controller or CDJ or mixer or item that they are using and you literally just place it on top. But they're honestly a bit of a lifesaver because DJing equipment gets very, very dusty when it's left out in the home and it's pretty fiddly to clean because there's loads of knobs and faders and things. So a deck saver is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Gift number five then, halfway through the list, and this is one for the vinyl DJs or turntable lists out there, and that is DJ slip mats, effectively two pieces of round felt that you put on top of the turntables and that enables the DJ to manipulate the sound. Now what I would say is that there are loads of designs and loads of colors out there and if you want my advice when going for a pair of slip mats try and avoid any slip mats that have too much printing on just because that printing can damage the record it can end up scratching the record so nothing too lavish but they are a great gift idea and they can wear out as well so some slip mats are an ideal gift. Gift number six then is for the DJ that needs more music. And this is some money towards a record pool subscription or a voucher for something like Beatport where you can go on and download music. Now, 
The great thing with this is that you can spend as much or as little as you want on this, but effectively record pools, they usually run in sort of one month subscriptions at a time and they are reasonably affordable, I would say. You're probably looking at around 20 pounds or 20 dollars ish on average for a one month subscription. Moving swiftly on then, and as we move into the back end of this list, these gifts are going to get slightly more expensive, so may suit somebody with a higher budget. I would say only spend what you can afford. It is all about the thought that counts, to be honest, um, not about how big or how lavish the gift is. Gift number seven then is DJ headphones. Now, of course, you can buy budget headphones or you can go really, really expensive. Most DJ headphones are in the region of around 100 to 200 pounds or dollars. If you have watched this channel for a while, you know that I use the Sennheiser HD 25s. They've been on the market for years. They, in my opinion, are hands down the best DJ headphones to use. I'm also pretty impressed with the Pioneer DJ Q1s if you are on a little bit of a tighter budget. I've got a video on the Sennheiser HD 25s linked down in the description down below, but there are so many different headphones out there. Um, so just pick one that matches your budget in my opinion. Gift number eight then, and this is a DJ microphone. Now, much like the headphones, you can buy really budget options and you can buy really, really expensive options. So do pick one that is going to best suit your budget. Now, if the DJ that you're buying for is playing out in commercial bars or commercial clubs, or they are a mobile DJ, the likeliness is they will need some kind of microphone. So again, a really, really useful gift for this type of DJ. In my opinion, one of the best mics that money can buy, and this is just my opinion, is the Shure SM58. Uh, the reason why I like this mic is because it has has a cardioid pickup pattern, which means it only picks up the sound um, from the DJ that's speaking into it rather than the sound of the room as well. Gift number nine then, and this is DJ bags. Does what it says on the tin, enables the DJ to fill the bag up with their equipment or their stuff and take it to the gig. There are specific manufacturers out there that make DJ related bags. Uh, most common are UDG and Magma. Um, I've got a link down in the description down below to a video of uh, the bag that I particularly use. They can get quite pricey, um, but also as well, check out Amazon as well because they do have loads of budget friendly options. Last but not least then, the final gift on this list, number 10 are DJ monitors so that the DJ you're buying for can play out their mixes to their heart's content and probably annoy you in the process, especially if you live with them. Now, DJ monitors can get quite pricey because they are priced as single units, so you will need to buy two of them. But again, as with everything, there are more budget-friendly options out there as well. In terms of brands, check out KRK, they're pretty good. Adam Audio, I also recommend. Pioneer DJ also do some pretty good monitors. So there we have it, 10 gifts for the DJ in your life. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please click over there next and I will see you next time.